Now, if you're looking to buy real estate in an EU country with very low taxation, very low government debt and good solid GDP growth, then look no further than Bulgaria. Today, I want to give you my five best places to invest in the Bulgarian real estate market. Although Bulgarian small towns and villages are very tempting, very, very attractive due to the very cheap prices, unfortunately, they are suffering from population decline. So investment wise, they are not really an opportunity. This is not the case for the bigger cities. Now, before I go into my five best places to buy property in Bulgaria, I just want to give a shout out to two or three lovely places which did not quite make it, namely Ruse, Veliko Turnova and Nesabar. So these are all lovely, lovely places to buy property, but I don't think they quite make my top five. So anyway, here are my top five places to invest in the Bulgarian real estate market. And before I start, I just want to say any one of these could have been number one and it was so, so close. So coming in at number five is the city of Burgas. Now, with a population of just over 200,000, Burgas is the second largest Bulgarian city on the Black Sea coast. Prices are very, very reasonable at an average of around 1,100 euros per square meter. Now, Burgas also has the busiest airport on the Bulgarian Black Sea coast with flights to many European destinations, including London, Dublin, Edinburgh, Belfast, Prague, Warsaw, Budapest, Bratislava, Oslo, Stockholm, Helsinki, Copenhagen, Lille, Amsterdam, Brussels, Cologne, and a number of other European cities. It also flies to Tel Aviv in Israel. Now, you will also find a major railway station and bus station in Burgas. And it really is an all year round destination with a beach, a huge marine park, museums, shopping centers and art galleries. And here you can do Airbnb and long term lets. And I just want to add as well, Bulgaria is a pro landlord market, so that's very good as well. Now, when it comes to cafes, bars and restaurants, you will find no shortage of these in Burgas. Burgas is also the gateway to a number of Black Sea resorts like Sunny Beach and Nesabar. So definitely um, Burgas is worth considering. Now, coming in at number four is a beautiful ski resort, and it is the ski resort of Bansko. Now, with a population of nearly 9,000, Bansko is fast becoming a mecca for digital nomads and property prices, although on the rise, are still incredibly cheap for a ski resort town. In actual fact, property prices in well-known ski resorts such as Val d'Isère, Chamonix, San Moritz and Cortina d'Ampezzo are often 20 times higher per square meter than Bansko. Admittedly, yes, they are more developed, but 20 times is a hell of a lot. And Bansko is also quite popular in the summer for hiking and has a beautiful old town. It has 18 piece covering 75 kilometers and is by far the most popular ski resort in Bulgaria. It has plenty of bars, clubs, restaurants. And compared to Pamporov and Borovets, it also has more variety of non skiing activities like an ice skating rink, bowling alley and horseback riding. Now, the one major disadvantage of Bansko is, is that it is a fair way from the nearest airport, Sofia Airport. It can take two and a half hours to get from Bansko to Sofia. But listen to this, prices on average are really, really cheap. So we are talking around the 600 euros per square meter mark, which again, I will repeat for a ski resort is absolutely incredible. Now, if you do buy, um, try and buy nearer the gondola. Prices are more expensive, but it will definitely be worth it. So all in all, I think Bansko is definitely worth considering, especially if you are on a budget and want to buy in a ski resort. Now coming in at number three is Plovdiv. With a population of around 345,000, Plovdiv is Bulgaria's second city. 
property prices for a second city in the EU here are very, very cheap at an average of around 1,200 euros per square meter. And the economy here is quite dynamic and has been growing faster than the Bulgarian average. Now, like Bansko and other Bulgarian cities, Plovdiv is also becoming a hub for digital nomads. Infrastructure is also good in this city and there are plenty of tourist attractions making it a good Airbnb market and long-term yields are pretty decent here so we are talking five to five and a half percent and the city has also a very healthy student population with some excellent universities and the IT industry here is also growing fast. Now in November 19 Plovdiv was the European capital of culture and it is the oldest living city in Europe and the old town is a candidate to become a world heritage site. So there is a lot of good ingredients here. Now, if this were to happen, I think property prices um, would increase. And because UNESCO World Heritage Site status does mean more tourists coming in. Now, as with any other city, I think buy as near to the center as possible if you can. Now, coming in at number two is the capital, Sofia. Now, with a population of 1.25 million, Sofia is becoming an ever more popular place for foreign real estate buyers and for tourists as well. In this underrated EU capital, the IT industry has been booming with over 100 IT companies now present in the city. If we look back to around 25 years ago, there were no metro lines in the city and now there are four lines and they are still expanding the number of metro stations. This shows how the city has an ever improving infrastructure. Now, the population of Sofia is also well educated with 50% of the working population of the city having a university degree and that's almost double the national average in Bulgaria. And Sofia accounts for around 40% of Bulgaria's GDP and over 50% of foreign investment into the country. So you can see how dominant Sofia is in Bulgaria. Now, unfortunately, the days of buying property for just over a thousand euros per square meter are gone. And you are now looking at near a 1718, so 1,700 to 1,800 euros per square meter on average. Nevertheless, I still do feel as a long-term investment, Sofia still represents good value if you compare it to other Europe, EU capitals. And the infrastructure here really is fantastic. So I believe um, Sofia is an excellent place to put your money in the real estate market. In particular, I think um, over the long term, maybe not so much over the short term because we have seen a lot of gains. Now, coming in at number one is the city of Varna. Now, with a population of around 335,000, Varna is the third largest city in Bulgaria and the biggest on the Black Sea in Bulgaria. Varna is a real gem and one of the most underrated cities in Europe. There are very few cities which have a combination of city life, a beach and a beautiful sea garden which is eight kilometers long. Varna also has some very noteworthy tourist attractions including a beautiful cathedral, Roman baths and the most important museum in the whole of Bulgaria, namely the Archaeological Museum. Add to this a wonderful opera house and some lovely pedestrian roads and you begin to get an idea of how nice this city really is. Now, although Varna is mainly known as a tourist city, it is also a business city as well with diverse sectors which contributes to its economy, including real estate, manufacturing, shipping, financial services, insurance and banking. And Varna also has some top universities, including the University of Economics, the Medical University of Varna and the Technical University of Varna. And it has good transport links, including excellent road links, railway, sea, two major bus stations and an international airport which flies to many destinations in Europe, including London, Berlin, Brussels, Cologne, Frankfurt, Larnaca, Lille, Zurich, 
Munich, Vienna, Prague, Eindhoven and Copenhagen. It actually also flies to Tel Aviv in Israel and to Kuwait. Now, many digital nomads are making Varna their preferred destination as there are lots of amazing cafes, restaurants um, on the beach as well. It really is a good clubbing scene as well. And although prices have been rising, they are still on average around 1,200 to 1,300 euros per square meter. So again, the days of finding property in Varna on average for less than 1,000 euros per square meter are gone. But I still think Varna offers incredible value. And I think in the future, a lot more digital nomads are gonna make this their home. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks ever so much for watching this video and I shall see you soon on the next. And please do make comments below if you agree or disagree with the cities I've chosen in Bulgaria. And I, I want to say for a last time, it was ever so close.